Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this week's BRAG, Brazilian Algebraic Geometry Seminar. Uh, it is a, a great pleasure for me to introduce our speaker today, Jaqueline Arancidia from UFPB. Jaqueline will tell us about some applications of bots localization formula in enumerative problems. Por favor, please, Jaqueline. Okay, Caroline. Thanks for inviting me. Yes. I am going to begin a comment about two steps. No. We want to solve some enumerative questions like to find the number of lines that meet in four lines in P3 or some. And then the first step is to find an adequate parameter space. This can be easy or not so easy, but it can be. And the second step is to know about the showering of your parameter space. But this is not easy. In fact, um, in the intersection theory course of Joe Harris in Elga 2011 in Buenos Aires, uh, he said, uh, in general, are, it's, it's impossible to find uh, the shower rings, even for surface. This is a common to a uh, feel that it can be to find such a ring. Then uh, uh, what we can do get to work, you know, try write some solution of this problem, numerative problem. Uh, we use the bot formula because using this formula, you uh, may uh, don't use the shower as it's the directory. Yeah. And I am going to explain first uh, some oh, I am called ingredients yes, of this formula. And then I will talk to a toy example, the four lines in the sugar calculus. And then a more important problem for me and collaborator. And I am pushing the industry again the bot formula. Yes. And I am going this this formula, in fact, uh, in the case when uh, it's G that appear there, yes, with the set of six points, uh, will be a final set. Okay, let's go to some notations. Uh, well, we are working in the complex number C, yes, and all the scheme considered here are quasi projected or AV project, in fact, uh, valid. Over C. Okay. Oh, so yeah. And part to <laughs> to return to this. Uh, by variety at over C, we mean an integral scheme, finite type. Yes. All the morphemes are the morphemes. Uh, a point mean a closed point. And if it is a linear group, we work with a variety at and call it the J space. He, when the action is a morph of value. For the applications, in fact, we are going to use G, well, G, the one dimensional torus. And let me tell you about the representation of G, DF. Uh, you have group G and be a vector space and tell, take, draw a representation of G and V, that is the homomorphism, a homomorphism group of G and automorphisms of V. And then uh, this representation induces a representation of the dual space V star as in one. Mm -hmm. and now, if you take two representations, rho and G and rho one in D1, uh, you also can take the tensor representation, rho tensor, rho one tensor, rho one, uh, over the space V tensor, V one, as in two. And for example, if we take the torus 
uh, and you take a uh, basis of B and alpha star, a basis of the dual B star, uh, we can uh, define all uh, the representation uh, by the, given by say, an element on the, on the base VI and go to T W I V I. This W I I are integers that you previously fit. And then you get the uh, whole star that, uh, over the dual given by a uh, VI star go to T minus W I V star, V I star. And also we had the tensor, row tensor row one on V tensor T1 given by the VI tensor Uche. Uche is the base of the other space, V1, and goes through T after WI plus Z J. VI tensor Uche. And so. Okay, let uh, uh, continue. So, <laughs> for example, uh, sorry, I, I want to return to the old screen. Uh, okay, let me continue. Now I am going to speak about the JK variant child room, the uh, group. Uh, so, okay. yes, for D, uh, we fit a group, a linear group G and the space X and what are the technical steps for doing that? Uh, first, you choose a, an L-dimensional representation of T on some complex vector space B containing an open set U where G acts freely. Next, you consider the quotient principal G bundle P from U to the quotient. And finally, to take the, the diagonal action, the diagonal action. Uh, of G of torus yeah. uh, over the product, this third bundle. And this action is also free in the quotient, the Cartesian process from X, U, uh, quotient G. Yes. And this quotient, this, this, this quotient, uh, we call, or we denote, in fact, by X, G. The under and this is the this value T yes, will be the principal object now. Assume that G has dimension G and X has dimension N. Then we define the EX J equivalent group of X as the I I plus L minus G show equivalent group of X, G. This is the usual show group. Um, uh, it is note, this is important, technical fact, yeah? It is note that the G equivalent show group of X does not depend on the chosen representation. If L minus the dimension of B minus U is bigger than B, Dimension of x minus i. You can find the detail of it in some reference I am going to put in later. Yeah. Um, other notation, another definition if you take y, uh, an n dimensional j equivalent to parity of x, then we know by the the classes why she the J equivalent fundamental classes why as the classes why she is as before the other screen. And now uh, we are going to talk about the chaurin of a point. This is the object that we use in fact for the application. Uh, for this I choose L such as such that uh, L is bigger than I. It sets V equals CL and U, V minus origin. And 
now considered a representation of chi on C, defined by the, the diagonal action. Yes, chi uh, over x1, xl, point to multiply its coordinate. In this case, we have that the portion of U by G is actually the projective space over C, PL minus one. And then you are going to find the definition that we talked about. Uh, the AA is take variant showering of the point will be equal to uh, the group, in fact, the group generated by, by eight. In fact, uh, we had that this group is the polynomial ring with entire coefficient in, in H, that's the variable. Some more uh, definition is about the vector brand that we use. If F is not singular state space and you have the P from E to F be a vector bundle on over the X. And we call it the K K variant. If not leave, P hatching on G point E is equal to G point five E for every element in E and every element G and G. Um, we will do, we will want to denote by X upper G the set of fits point on it. Okay, now, now let us know that uh, this set of fits point finite and assume that the metal band E over X meet the composition such as in the screen over the is equal A1, it is the fiber for the point, in fact, this, this into the directed sum and if some bundle had trunk one and this this uh, the composition is uh, each element there is this EIF, the, the fiber correspond to the elements V on E such as the action of P over V is equal to G tau i v. These tau i are fits and are call it the elementary weight of the decomposition of E associated to the agent that bundles that we put on the screen. Well, then uh, the text is by the internet class uh, C G K of E. This is over the fiber, this is fiber over there. Is a uh, represented in the take variant routine of the point S by the K elementary symmetric function in the weight type one, type two, type R. In fact, and this is important for our application, uh, the first journal class, take variant journal class, is uh, given by the sum of those weights. The second class is now. In is given by the sum of the product. And the top channel class is the product of this page. And finally, I am going to put in the screen the, the formula that we are going to use for the, our application. Yes. Um, to explain that the, you have PI, the, a polynomial in the channel class is a concept, a, even better band, AJ. And the degree this, of this uh, class uh, will be given by the sum over the fixed points, yes. But there you have a, a, a quotient in the denominator, it's a PG, yes. It's a polynomial in the take dividend from the class or the better band. That's as we said, they are in symmetric facts in the way. And in the denominator, you had the top channel class of the tangent. In the general formula, you had the normal one, but what are we going to work with the point? Yeah, we take the tangent band. Okay. And here I put some reference. 
with the details, yes. And Andre Meirelles, Israel Weisenfeld, gave a course in the Escola de Verano, pardon, Escola de Arte, the British Museum, and they get the Italian version theory and both received from. It's a good reference. I recommend. Okay, come on to the applications. The first one is, I call it the toy application because everyone knows the answer, everyone knows here, yes. Uh, given four lines in general position, P3, how many lines meet for them? Um, we know they are true, but this true, we are knowing now to compute using the box formula, yes, to explain how it works. Oh, there is no by F0, X1, S2, and F3, the homogeneous coordinators in C3, and Z be the Grassmann variety of line C3, and F will be the trivial bundle uh, with fiber linear for conversion. We are going to consider the tautological sequencing over G, where the fiber, so where the fiber of I over L, L is line in G, is actually the two linear forms in the ideal of L. And Q is the question, is, is F model this equation? Okay. If you take, for example, L0 in C3 line given by the equations, G is F0 equals 0 and F1 equals 0. And know that uh, L0 induced the one true trivial better bundle. We are going to call L0 and this calligraphic of L over G given by this product. Of the fiber is in fact the linear form model the equation of the line L0. And then if you also look at the section S on the screen, um, this section goes from the second stereo power A to the second power stereo L0. Yes, these two bundles get from one. And um, by the definition that we put here, we take the S and G, in fact, we equation of for the line L. And when you pass model the equation L0, you can see that the zeros of this section is essentially the set line G that meets the line L0. Then, you have in mind this is important that you have a project variety of four dimension n and you have a better bundle e over it of rank r and if this better bundle has regular sections such as uh, you, you want to determine the class in the childhood for the zero spin of the section this is even exactly by the action of the Every uh, R uh, Turner class of T. Yes, this is important. This is old. And then, as we talk about the, the, this uh, section, about uh, the cycle we are looking for is in fact the fourth power of the Turner class of this bound. Yes. And I put here the computation, yes, then the, 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 the personal class of this bundle is given exactly and so we have the common there. And minus the personal class of A. And then this is the belief that we want to compute. This is the true, <laughs> this is the, 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 the person class of A, the fourth power, the H non G. And we are going to compute this using this bot form. 
And in this setup, uh, this degree is given exactly by the sum over all the fifth point, G, G denotes the fifth point on G, the Rasmanian's line, or oh, this quotient, this section the, on the, in the denominator to have the, uh, the take variant Turner class of KL on the fourth power, and then the denominator you have the fourth Turner class, the equivalent Turner class of the tangent of G in L. Okay, Chang, our first task, task will be to compute this set of fixed point. It's always that. And we, we first find an um, appropriate uh, parameterized space, yes, and then to compute the fit point. Okay, um, then uh, know that the action of uh, the siesta on P3 is given by the first, the second line in the screen. And G action on the point with coordinate A0, A1, A2, and C3, multiplied is coordinated by the power G minus W0, E minus W1, G minus W2, etc. Uh, and this includes an action on G on, the, on its line, this, the group part, given by G dot H1, A2, is applying G to its linear form. A1 and 2, and this is given by the action. And I, I put the force on the button, 3.8 is given by the uh, multiply yeah, its uh, coordinates at 0, A1, A2, A3 by the power 3 WI. This the action. For example, if you take the line and she uh, given by the equations, so assume that x1 is x0 plus a2, x2 plus a3, x3, and h2 is given by x1 plus b2, x2 plus b3, these two linear forms. And then if it's point g, this line will be at its point G if and only if uh, G acting on H1, A2, if it's H1, A2, this is the subspace, yeah. And this is the same say that G point, uh, sorry, C dot, T dot H pi is equal to alpha I H1 plus theta I H2 for some alpha I and theta I on C. And um, in fact, if you put these equations in the screen, G, H, you know, that's one, and put the definition of the action here, yeah, and solve this equation, you are right through these equations in, almost in the back of the screen. So, when you look at this equation, you see that if you take uh, this wedge sufficiently general, and uh, then uh, the coefficient a2, a3 of the line h1 are zero, then h1 is zero, and analogously, two h2 will be x1. Okay. Then, if you that the count will be that the, the fifth point in the Grassmannian line consists of six lines on the screen. We had six points, six fifth point. Okay, now we go on to the second part is to determine the um, equivalent class, Turner class. Okay, that being with the tangent here. Uh, since the tangent of the Grammanian is given by the tensor curve of the dual of A, yes, this is the topological band with the cos in Q. Uh, if we take, uh, for example, the line, this is one of the fixed points 
at zero, at one, this is the point. Then the tangent at this point, is in blue there, uh, is equal to this tensor plus at zero at one dual tensor with the quotient at zero at one at two at three model the equations at zero at one. And we compute the, the composition in space, in vector in space, yes, and find the vectors in the first line at zero dual tensor. It's two bar, yes, and so on. And in the case, if you focus on the first one, at zero dual tensor, it's two bar. This has a wedge associated to W2 through it. This correspond to x two bar minus this minus equals for for the dual for x zero dual minus w zero. Okay, then after this computation, uh, you conclude that the top Turner class of the tank the state of G and in this L will be exactly the product of this wedge above. Now we need to compute the other because there's a uh, weight and H in bed. H, uh, remember that H is the tautological bond and the fiber of A over L, L is fits each is zero, it's zero, it's one. And this is the A in Berkeley and the weights are W zero and W one. So the first in the class is given by the sum W zero plus W one. Okay, in time you go, 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 and you take its of this line of its point, in fact, and to compute this decomposition is on the screen. And then we apply the bot formula. This one is the sum of these seeds, uh, quotients, fractions, yeah, involving the, the weight. And um, I don't know if it's a surprise, but if you take, for example, here, W0 equal one, W minus one, W2 equal two, and W3 is minus two. In fact, you can choose the generic, yes. But in this concrete case, we get these sums on the screen, and just sum, sum, and to get two, this is the, Final idea. And then in this, you see uh, here you had a seed fit point, and you soon you're going to send this seed uh, part of, of this formula. And then you can go to see about the, we only had six points. What about if you had 100, 100 points or so on, more? Then we're going to be see now. Okay, this one for the, uh, the, the the problem of the four line was the toy model to explain you how this works. And now I am going to talk about a joint work with uh, Adriana Rodriguez da Silva and Fernando Antonio Xavier de Souza. Yes. This is my co work in this work. And um, now we are going to consider H, be the Hilbert scheme parameterizing characteristics C with Hilbert polynomial 2, 3 plus 3. Yes. And this scheme has three components. And I am calling, calling here by H prime, H two prime, H three prime of dimension 14, 11, and nine, respectively. And the general point of these components, for example, H prime, corresponds to the schematic union of a conic and two points. In the case of H, to prime, uh, 
this is this is parametric scheme. Uh, we are the schematic union of two skew lines and a point. Yeah. And eight three prime 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 parametric double lines of arithmetic sinus minus two without embedded point. For instance, if you take the line L defined by the equation x zero a one equals zero, then and you take the ideal generated by the square of the line and the linear form x zero f plus x one at g with f and g homogeneous degree to model the equation of the line with GCD equal one. This is one element in this component. Okay, and we are talking now about the first component, H prime. Yeah. Then the first uh, task is to know about how do you choose a parameter space for this component. This component parameterizes a conic a schematic unit, yes, of a conic two point. Why right? we are going to do that? Okay. Now, think that L, the line L is the zero of two linear form at zero at x one. Then uh, genetically you seen that in this schematic union kappa union k one kappa one uh, will be given by the intersection of two ideals. One ideal that defines the conic kappa is given by the equation of the plane on k this k I use this k is a quark and the two points on the line L will be defined by another quadric k1 and model the equation of the line. This is the first idea. And the other point is that if you look for curves with Hilbert polynomial two C plus three, then uh, quadrants in P3 vectorial degree are same. Then you expect three generates for A2. A2 is the degree to part of the ideal I as, as a vector space. And then you think this way, I2, this is a vector space, it contains this Subject space generated by H zero H H one H. This is two. These are two quarks. In fact, then there should be a still generator Q of D two. Will which is defined as model A zero uh, H H uh, one H. Yes, uh, in fact, this is the important idea, the more important idea. If you take uh, generically uh, the line, it's not on the plane, yeah. And you choose a quadric a polynomial, the homogeneous polynomial degree two, uh, that isn't, this, uh, this polynomial is not divided by H, that is define a conic in the plane. And this K, this quadric is not in the idea of the line. All, yes. Then you should take the intersection of the ideal HQ with the ideal A0A1AQ. Look at this, thank you. It's not that about where to talk about K, A, K1. This is the thank you. This finds an element H prime. Now, this is the, the clue for the parameter space. Okay, then we say X be the projected boundary 
Linfat Eds de, de Total Spain o de Projected Bundle on the top. Yeah. I am going to place some notations here. Well, well F as before, is, but now I uh, denote the trivial bundle generated by the linear forms over the state that we want to work. F is the symmetric power of F, this symmetric power. And here, F D in general, denotes the Grassmannian of R dimensional linear subspace. Mm -hmm. In the case of G to F that appears in the top, on the top, uh, this Grassmannian, for this Grassmannian, we consider the tautological frequency L F F bar. In fact, this L is a run to band with five overlays given by the question as we find the line M. And um, P3 dual is equal to the Grassmannian, so we pass the state of dimension one of F. And we are going to consider the tautological frequency of P dual minus one inside F with quotient K. Yes. Okay. And let's continue. And so to repeat and fix the notation, then we had this X, this projected band. Uh, in the base, you say B is an element B is, is a pair. This pair correspond to a plane. So I put A, but because we are look in general, not only for P3, but now please uh, see in your screen in which any one of uh, with a plane, in P3 and a line in P3, this, the element in the base, and you take the element and in the total space, view key bar. This key bar, remember that is a quadric defined model, the product of the equation of L by the equation of the plane H. This is based. But the important part here is that we are looking to the rational map from this total space, take H, a plane, like we said, and L, for example, generated by H1, H2, and key var, uh, and sent to the intersection of the, of the ideal that I comment before H, Q, but would be defined conic intersection with the H1, H2, Q will be defined two points in the line L. And we observe that uh, this map statement will be no regular along the union of two smooth budgets. I am going to comment now with y and y1. And y is an eight-dimensional clock with the variety of x determined by the condition that q is divisible by H. So Q is H product HP, another linear form. This HP is a linear form. Mm. Module, module. Uh, and this is the illustration uh, when we seen geometrically this Y as a plane and a line L and a point in L. This point is determined by the equation of L and HP, this linear form. And the other component, uh, Y1, has dimension 11, yes. And they correspond to the situation when the Q, the quad Q, uh, belong to the degree two part of the ideal of the line. Uh, 
in fact, uh, this variety is the projected variety, is the productivization of this squash. This F2 line here uh, is the vector bundle here in uh, F uh, as a fiber of over there. This one before this F12, the quadrants for in the idea of the line L. Yes. And we also have an illustration to this one. one. This one, one is special in the sense that the uh, generic point is a twisted field. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, what is the idea? The idea basically, uh, you can see the Hilbert scheme, the Hilbert company has the set that parameter is homogeneous ideal that determines Curves with a given Hilbert polynomial. Then we we begin with some ideas, yes. Uh, but um, in general, you you need to put more than it is to to to, uh, to arrive to the correct Hilbert polynomial. This is the basic idea. Then we are going to produce a uh, cubes in the following sense. In the base at you had only a plane, a line, and a quadric. With this geometric project that you can see in this way, you can produce three quadrics. H A1, if L is generated by H1, H2, F, and Q, Q, this one. And if you look at this map, you can say that the autological bundle of G3, F2, and you made the pullback to S and consider A, A is the pullback, and look at for the multiplication map. Yes. And so you are going to take this quadric, basically, if I, you are going to multiply by the linear forms to produce qubits. And we should cap that in this situation. And this map here, minimum rank nine, and the skinosis of, of a lambda 10. This is an efficient idea. It's equal to y, y is the variety that I commented before, where k became a multiple of h. This is the pitch. I like, and then we had at the moment Y inside it, and we consider the blow up in this case. And we show that at the blow up strength is embedded in the Cartesian flow of X the product, the projected, the productization of X2 module. A O P three dual minus one tenth F. Basically, the the this projected fiber and together with the projectivization correspond to choose the quadric model the plane. But in this case, you are going to mark the conic in the plane. It's the idea, the geometric idea. Then we continue and consider the intersection of the y and y1 and also y2 prime is the restriction of the sectional divisor to y2. And here is y2, the intersection to, in this case, the line go to inside the plane, this is the situation. It's a y2, you have conic value in the plane. We also consider the y prime to be the split transform of y one. In this case, uh, we consider the the second blow up. We are going to consider the blow up of the prime along y one prime, 
and we get this x two prime and the sectional device is true. In this case, we verify that this variety x two prime embed in the calculation product of x prime plus manian c eleven f three. This is the correct number. This eleven is the correct number of Q. Yeah. In this case, we get a sub band. We are not going to for more detail. M to prime of G eleven F three over this blow up at two prime, and use this one to produce quarter because we need to shake up at this moment. Uh, the correct number of quarts and the correct kilo polynomial. And then we consider another multiplication map. Basically, the idea is that you should take the set of Q with that Q has produced, uh, multiply by linear forms and produce uh, the element of degree four. Then, in this case, uh, we check that uh, the minimum rank is. Point three, and the skin of zero, the fitting idea, yes, and the zero of this twenty uh, lambda twenty four nu is equal to y to prime prime prime, where this y to prime prime denotes the street transform of y to prime. And the intersection is a device in Y2 prime, uh, determined by the condition that kappa is zero on the point. Of, that is, the conic is passing through the point P. This is the condition. And in this case, we, uh, since it is a uh, device, you, we have the three term form. Y2 prime prime is isomorphic to Y2 prime. And then we can consider now the um, another row up, yes, Y2 prime along Y2 prime prime and gain this X prime prime prime, three primes. Okay, this embeds in X2 prime cartesian with the Grassmannian of G24 at all. Yes. And we are right to the first theorem. If you put E equal the image of new prime, this new prime is the full vector of those new by the blow up map P3. And you made the saturation with respect to the idea of the sectional device in this O minus P3 prime prime prime. And look at this uh, sheet. It goes straight to X prime prime prime, three prime. And then we have that E is locally split to chief of F4 respect to this variety of run 24. Yes. In fact, this is a flat sum for, for that this, this all this is not that is not only a, to get a, a suchi for to run 24 is this is a flat family and then we even use a, a map from the blow up this is at prime 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 to g 24 to show that is the rational control h prime h prime is the component uh, having a generic point the conic and two point yes hmm. and if we put a notation e b e b is equal to the image of me g as me g this me g is the tensor product of e this and the, the shift above with the homogeneous 
form of degree D minus four. This is to produce a form of degree D. This is the multiplication. And if you look at for this shift, um, then we can consider the projectilization, this ED, P, e, G, inside X time, 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 product time, times the projectilization as D. Uh, and we have the projection to the second projection to PFD. This PFD parameterizes the surface degree. D. Then we consider VG equal the image of this project utilization. And then you think you can see this VG, this VG as the scale of surface degree G, and G contain some members of X prime prime prime. So in particular, it contains a conic in two points, genetically. And, and we prove that if you look, uh, you restrict the projection to, to PH, PG, to BG, it is genetically finite of the D, D over two, the binomial D over two, is the two points are binom in a fixed line. Uh, and G is bigger or equal than five. In fact, it is verified that the degree of DD is equal to two over, this is the, the question, this fraction in fact is the question of one over the binomial D over two. This is the question, it's the degree of the map. Uh, will be given by the, the, the computation of the tens segregate class of EG. In fact, we can put in terms of the standard classes and put in, in place of EG, we put the quotient of FD module EG. And on the words, and then uh, you will remember the path formula. We can say that this degree one will be computed by the sum of this quotient yes, in the numerator. You compute the equivalent channel class 10 equivalent channel class of the ED bar quotient by the the 10 equivalent to the cloud of the tangent at its point, but at its point, fits point of x prime prime prime. Okay. Next, uh, we determine the fixed points to this in x prime prime, and we find 192. And we compute the sun about in with the help singular using the script we put in this address. Yes. In fact, the, um, this computation using singular uh, welfare uh, made by an adaptation of some computation of another mathematics, yes. And in fact, we take an adaptation of, and use the some uh, scripts of Israel, Byzantine, yes. Okay, then we compute this degree and I write that this degree is given by this polynomial on the screen. D over four, this one, this polynomial there. I am not going to read this polynomial, you can see. And only one remark is that for D well four, if you take self, it uh, contain a conic, yes. This is our KNA, a conic, but two points. 
contain a conic, will be contain another conic. In this case, you, the degree of V4 you can compute. We are will be given by the polynomial above for V equal four score divided by two. Two is the degree. And right now uh, we are testing the same thing. We study the, the other component, for example, x prime prime. In this case, we basically start with the base verity x corresponded to the product. In the first factor, you look for Hilbert truth t plus two p three is this mean to look genetically to two sq line and the other fat to p three is for the point. This is the starting point. Here we are planning um, to make some enumerative application using the compatibility of this H2 prime plant to study the other component. And also we plan to study the component of Hilbert quarter four G plus two that parameterizes the uh, um, given by the union of two SQ conics and so on. We have another plan, yes. And thank you, obrigado. <laughs> this is, that's all. <laughs> Obrigada, Jaqueline. Thank you. Um, are there uh, questions to Jaqueline? I actually have a. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, so I uh, about this uh, the first um, the first plan that you put there. So what uh, what would be what would be the enumerative questions that one could uh, what what kind of what what questions do you have in mind that one could use these tools to to answer? Yes, in general, uh, as we are working with uh, uh, complement that parameter carries, we the first question is. Uh, how many curves of degree D contain uh, contain that kind of curve? Yes, but for example, Carolina, uh, uh, you see uh, first uh, in the case in our case, yes, in the first component. If you take uh, a point, but two plane point, but you uh, in this 2.3, you know, the line is free, yes. And you, you don't get a finite number, which is, which is, which is not output. And then uh, sometimes you put another conditions, yes. And uh, depend, but this is the essential problem. Compute the, the, the uh, degree this uh, contains such scales, but sometimes you, you have to be careful to check up the degree is finite, genetically finite. Yes, this, this is the case. And then to to put another condition, like in this case, to put the condition that the two point go on if it's like, it's the pain, <laughs> the problem. But careless is this problem, if this is one problem. I'll, now you, you also can see another kind of problem to be turned into a given state. She paint. <laughs> there is a lot of questions. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. So are, are there more questions for Jacqueline? Hola. Nice to see you all. May I ask a technical question? So uh, usually, very nice to see you, Jackie. Congratulations. Me too. <laughs> now, Me too. Uh, I mean, I, I, one of the thorny questions uh, involved 
uh, for similar problems like that is to know a priori what are the monomial ideals that appear in uh, the appropriate components of the hue. So mm -hmm. did you have a hard time finding them or was it easy to find them in I mean, you had this H prime, H double prime, H triple prime, right? So the, the fixed points in there are usually, uh, usually correspond to some monomial ideals. Yes. And uh, I, I've, I've asked the many people about recipes, the Yarubino, the Sturmfels, uh, I mean, if, What's what's a general recipe? What do you a general recipe to to find these? Uh, I think they have a special name which I can't remember now. Uh, it's difficult. I think each problem in this case, each component is like. A, Shower work, this is un trabajo de joalería. And in our case, in this component, we have a uh, work time, was a lot of time. And the very important part was that we were able to compute the, um, let me see, uh, a geometric description of the normal value of the sectional devices that appears there. This was very important to us because this is, uh, this, is uh, this fiber will be take place of the description of the fifth uh, point. And this was very important to us. <laughs> now in the, for example, in the other component, we are really into work with two prime, but um, this is one of our problems with I don't get yet uh, an appropriate decision of this exceptional device of, of this fiber. And uh, we need this to, this in, in, if you want to apply the, um, the same technique, the same idea to start component, we need to compute this or so this idea, this monomial idea, the description of this fiber, but we don't have at the moment, for example. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> More questions for Shaki? <laughs> Well, if not, let's uh, thank her again. Thanks, Caroline.